What we've done with Illustrator CS6 is really rebuild the application from the ground up. And basically what that means is that first we've optimized the application for 64-bit. And what that means to the user is that finally Illustrator can access all the RAM that is available on the machine, okay, depending on how many programs you have open at any time. So this is a big thing. No more RAM limitations in Adobe Illustrator. Another thing that we've done is completely redesign the user interface. Illustrator launches with this new dark user interface. Of course, this is something that you can change very easily. If you go here to your preferences, there is the user interface preferences, and you can choose from a variety of brightness uh, settings here. We can go even darker in the interface, or we can go back to the light interface, the one that is more similar to what we had in the past. Of course, there's also a little slider here that we can use to move the, uh, the brightness of the interface manually, okay, to get the exact brightness that you want in the application. But let's go back here to my medium dark interface, which is now the default for Illustrator CS6. Also, what this allowed us to do, I'm going to cancel out of this, is, for example, if we go into a panel such as the Layers panel, <laughs> since we've redesigned the whole interface, we've also made it much easier to do specific tasks. For example, now I can go into the Layers panel, double-click on a layer name, and change the layer name right there inside of the panel without having to open an extra window to do that, like it was in the past. Let me show you this file, because this is a rather complex file. Let me zoom in here into an area, and we can see that the artist created very complex patterns here with some spatter painting here and uh, some dots uh, all over the, um, the dress here, and used a variety of brushes here to give texture to the textiles. Also, if I now go here to View, outline, we see that this file is even more complex than what you can imagine. Um, let me just move around that file just very quickly so you can see how Illustrator has actually become much, much faster. I can move from one part of the illustration to the other very, very quickly. And then if we go back to preview mode, we can see how quickly Illustrator re-renders that whole illustration. So, so quick. Let me show you another example. So one of the things that, um, that has changed with, uh, with us redesigning the whole application but rewriting it is also the ability to make specific things much faster. One of those is applying Gaussian blurs to elements. So let me open that layer here for a second. And this is a circle to which I have applied a Gaussian blur. Gaussian blurs are also applied to things such as drop shadows or inner glows in Adobe Illustrator. And if I go now here to my appearance panel, we see that the Gaussian blur has been applied. I can open it. And the cool thing is that if I activate preview here, I can now go into, into my panel here and change the radius and see my Gaussian blur changing here on my artwork. This was something that required a, an, an extra window in the past. I had to commit to the Gaussian blur and s then see it happen on my artwork. Now, all these changes we make to Gaussian blurs, to drop shadows and inner glows are actually happening right here on my artwork. So the changes to the user interface and the fact that Adobe Illustrator is now 64-bit compatible is something that we call the Mercury Performance System. And it will allow you to work with Adobe Illustrator at speeds that were unthinkable before.